Hello and welcome back. In this video, we'll discuss semaphore in Rust. If you have been working with concurrent Rust for some time now, or literally have worked with concurrency in any programming language, you would have felt a need of controlled concurrency. So today, we'll discuss controlled concurrency and how can we achieve with semaphore. And if you're new to this channel, we all try to be better engineers every day. So if you are on the same mission, consider subscribing to the channel. Before we dive into semaphore with Rust programming language, let's spend a minute and understand what exactly is controlled concurrency and when do we need it. So let's take a real world example. Let's say we have a restaurant and we have around five tables. And it's a famous restaurant, so we have a lot of people coming in for our meals. Now, in total, we have seating capacity of five tables. And if we allow everyone to get in at the same time and grab a table then it would be absolute chaos you know people won't be able to eat comfortably they won't be able to enjoy their meals and all you will have is people running around trying to grab a chair or a table and stuff so in case of a restaurant we have this concept of get keeper or waiter whatever you want to call it they basically assign you a queue number and whoever comes when the restaurant is full so in this case when all the five tables are taken people will queue outside and wait for their turn and based on the availability inside the restaurant, the get keeper will allow others to come in and basically enjoy the meals. So this is a concept of controlled concurrency where the tables are shared resource and to help access shared resource or critical section uh, comfortably, we use a concept of get keeper which serves as basically your semaphore. So semaphore is fundamentally a signaling mechanism used in concurrent programming as we just discussed to control the access to the common resource by multiple processes or threads which we saw with an example as you know those uh, people that queuing up for eating a meal uh, so basically it helps solve the critical section problem by ensuring that only a limited number of threads can execute the critical section of the code at any given time now let's try to understand with a more code friendly example right here we have a semaphore with a maximum permit of two in the case of the example of a restaurant, we had a maximum of five, but here we have two and we have around five tasks to process. And what happens is every time a task is to process, we basically take the permit right here, we process the task and then we drop the permit, which basically then allows other tasks to take the permit. And when running this program, it basically runs two tasks and then waits for the permit. And then whenever there is a permit available, new task is given the permit to execute so this is how it allows you to safely access that critical section of the code uh, without you know too many resources trying to uh, too many uh, you know threads trying to access the critical resource and as we know when there's a concept of queuing and signaling or critical section we also have a concept of priority so in the case of restaurants as well when there's a priority guest or there is a guest who basically have membership they are giving priority so this is the same case here we have priority semaphore from priority semaphore create with a maximum permit of say one and then we have a high uh, priority task and then we have a low priority task and during acquiring you can define what is exactly the priority which is 10 here and one here and when we run this program the priority high task runs first irrespective of the order because you know right here we are just you know uh, launching the threads but it will respect your priority and accordingly execute the task so that's it for this video guys i hope you guys understand and learn something new if you do like the video share with your friends i'll catch you guys in another video with another interesting topic until then bye bye